Hello, this is a video about rational functions, their asymptotes, and intercepts. So what exactly is a vertical asymptote? Well, a vertical asymptote, abbreviated VA, is a vertical line, meaning it's of the form x equals some number, that a graph never crosses. So the graph will never cross a vertical asymptote. To find a vertical asymptote, you always want to factor and simplify your rational function first, if possible, and then set the denominator equal to zero. That's the easiest way to find a vertical asymptote. A word of caution for you if you don't factor and simplify first. If the factor which causes the denominator to equal zero is also in the numerator, then the x value is a whole. It's just an open circle in the graph somewhere, not a vertical asymptote. <clears throat> Now, what is a horizontal asymptote? Well, a horizontal asymptote, abbreviated HA, is a horizontal line. It's of the form y equals some number that a graph sometimes intersects. Sometimes. To find a horizontal asymptote, you will want to compare the degrees of the numerator and denominator, so the top and bottom of the fraction, and consider the following three cases. <clears throat> Case one. If the degree of the numerator is smaller or less than the degree of the denominator, the horizontal asymptote is y equals 0. That means on top of the x-axis. If the degree of the numerator is equal to the degree of the denominator, then the degree is, or then the horizontal asymptote is, y equals, it's a ratio of the leading coefficients. You take the leading coefficient of the numerator and put it on top here, over the leading coefficient of the denominator. That goes on the bottom. If the degree of the numerator is more than or greater than the degree of the denominator, then there is no horizontal asymptote. Instead, there could be what is known as a slant or oblique asymptote. For the sake of this course, we'll simply say there is no horizontal asymptote and go no further. <clears throat> to find intercepts, just like you learn from many other types of functions, to find the y-intercept, you set x equal to 0. And then to find x-intercepts, you would set y equal to 0. In other words, this means, because remember, y is the same thing as f of x or g of x or whatever your function is. This means you set the function equal to 0. But we got a good shortcut for you here. Since rational functions are fractions, the shortcut, instead of setting y equal to 0, instead of setting the function equal to 0, instead of setting the whole fraction, the whole rational function equal to 0, the shortcut is to set the numerator equal to zero. <clears throat> so now we have a few examples. We're going to find the asymptotes and intercepts of each rational function. We will factor and simplify first, if possible. 4x plus 3 over x minus 1 is not a rational function we can factor and simplify. So immediately we can jump in and start finding our information. Beginning with the vertical asymptote. So remember the process for finding a vertical asymptote. We will set the denominator x minus 1 equal to 0. And solve for x. So x equals 1. The vertical line x equals 1 will be your vertical asymptote. Next, horizontal asymptote, we have to compare the degrees. <clears throat> the degree of DOT will represent degree of top, and DOB will represent degree of bottom. I did that so that way we can save a little bit of writing time. So the degree of the top or degree of the numerator is, well, the highest power on the variable in the numerator is a 1. And then the highest power on the variable in the denominator is also 1. So the two degrees are equal. So you have to figure out which case is the case that talks about what to do when the degrees are equal. And that would be case two. So the horizontal asymptote is y equals the leading coefficient of the top over the leading coefficient of the bottom. This means y equals 4 over 1. The term that tells you the degree is the term that contains the leading coefficient. So we have 4 over 1, or simply put, y equals 4. That's a horizontal line that goes through 4 on the y-axis. 
now the y-intercept, remember, you will let x equal 0. So that means your y-intercept will be y, or h of x, or h of 0 equals 4 times 0 plus 3, or, or over 0 minus 1. So that's 3 over negative 1, or y equals negative 3, which has an ordered pair of 0, negative 3. So we cross the y-axis at negative 3. Now for the x-intercept, remember the shortcut, we let the numerator equal 0. <clears throat> so that means we have to set 4x plus 3 equal to 0 and solve for x. <clears throat> Take away 3 from both sides. And lastly, we will divide both sides by 4. So x is going to be negative 3 fourths. That's the x-intercept. Negative 3 over 4, comma 0. <coughs> so we found all the information we need. In part B, we have x squared minus 1 over x plus 1. Please make sure you factor and simplify first. So I have x plus 1, x minus 1, over x plus 1. So, yes. The x plus 1s do cancel out, so you're left with x minus 1 over 1. I'm keeping it over 1 just so that way it keeps its fraction form. So from now on, we're allowed to consider the rational function in its simplified form, x minus 1 over 1. What this means when a factor, of, a factor containing x cancels out in both the top and bottom, when a factor containing x is in both the top and bottom, it means there's a hole at wherever that factor is equal to 0. So it means there's a hole at an x value of negative 1. So that's just a little bit of bonus information for us. There will be a hole in open circle at x equals negative 1 in the graph. For the vertical asymptote, we set the denominator equal to 0. Well, guess what? You look at the simplified format. You set 1 equal to 0. Yeah, that's pointless. You can't do anything with that. So there's no vertical asymptote in this case. <coughs> Horizontal asymptote. So let's find the degree at the top, and let's find the degree at the bottom. It's best practice to use nothing but the simplified version of the fraction. So degree of the top, highest power on x is 1. Degree of the bottom, you have a constant term, which is a degree 0 term. So the degree of the top is going to be greater than the degree of the bottom. So you have to think about what case this would be. And this would be case 3. This is actually the case where there's no horizontal asymptote. Let's find those intercepts there. So remember the y-intercept process is to let x equal 0. You can use the simplified version of the function. That's A-OK. -okay. That's the best practice. So y equals 0 minus 1 over 1, or negative 1 over 1. OK, so y equals negative 1. That's your y-intercept. 0, negative 1 is the ordered pair. <clears throat> Remember the x-intercept shortcut is to set the numerator equal to 0. You use the simplified version of the fraction of the function, x minus 1 equals 0. And that means my x-intercept will be x equals 1. 
or one zero so that's the given inform or the information they want us to find for big f of x that rational function <coughs> so what about part c the first thing you want to do in part c is <clears throat> see if you can factor and simplify that's first <clears throat> so that means on top I'm going to have x plus 3 and on the bottom I'm going to have a x minus 7 x plus 3 the first step is to always factor and simplify <clears throat> so notice that the x plus 3's cancel out on both the top and the bottom which leaves you with 1 over x minus 7 this is the simplified function you will use for the rest of the question <clears throat> so notice that this means now that there is a hole at wherever x plus 3 the cancelled factor is equal to 0 this means there's a hole at x equals negative 3 so we have that little piece of information that means there will be a open circle at x equals negative 3 on the graph of the rational function <clears throat> the vertical asymptote is found by setting the denominator of the simplified function equal to 0 giving you a vertical asymptote value of x equals negative 7 it's a vertical line that goes through 7 on the x-axis <clears throat> now the degrees the degree at the top is going to be, remember, look at the simplified function, 1 over x minus 7. The top has a constant, so the degree at the top is 0. And the degree at the bottom is going to be just 1. So this puts us in the situation where the degree at the top is less than the degree at the bottom. So this puts us in case number 1. Case 1 says that the horizontal asymptote will be y equals 0. That means it will be the x-axis. That's what y equals 0 is. This is a line right on top of the x-axis. <clears throat> so now we find the y-intercept and the x-intercept. The y-intercept, remember, we find it by letting x equal 0. Use the simplified rational function, 1 over x minus 7. 1 over 0 minus 7. So you get negative 1 seventh as an ordered pair that's 0, negative 1 seventh. So you cross the y axis at a value of negative 1 seventh. Now the x intercept, we set the numerator equal to 0, use the simplified form of the rational function, 1 is equal to 0, which you can't do which means there is no x-intercept in this case. So that's all I have for you for, ten, for now. Thank you for watching.